Hey, my dear friends, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm back from the Memorial March slash gathering for uh, in the honor of all the <clears throat> missing, um, trafficked, abused and murdered women, um, especially uh, indigenous women globally, global wide and um, women of all kinds uh, in places like Europe and Canada, um, not only indigenous. <clears throat> and uh, today we had um, on Valentine's Day an annual, um, what was to be a march, but turned out to be a gathering. And um, I'll just quickly tell you um, w what it was like. Um, I did make a video just before it all started and showed you <clears throat> the area a bit and um, how it was prepared. Uh, the rest uh, will be on my Facebook uh, page um, in photographs. But um, what um, took place basically is there was a smudge. Um, so the whole area smelled beautifully with sage and um, there was cedar branches past the, uh, you know, laid around. And I found out a native, uh, you know, true fact and story um, today about cedar branches is that when you have negative energy or feel frustrated or um, are lost in any way, it is a very spiritual and healing way by grabbing a cedar branch into your hand and holding it and becoming one with it. With it. it actually has su supposedly um, healing spiritual powers. And um, I've actually loved gathering cedar branches and drying them next to my wood stove and then, you know, uh, burning them later when they're dry, wrapped up a bit in kind of a sage row. And sometimes I use other pine trees and, and some other um, herbs together um, and, and it creates a beautiful smell, um, beautiful incense and smudge. Um, I love it. So basically, um, the gathering started off by all the elders taking a place um, <clears throat> undercover from the snow and uh, in, in the traditional clothing, uh, sitting down because they're elders. It was quite a beautiful scene. They had like I said, their traditional clothing on. And um, first, a woman named Christy Bell, the organizer of all this, um, <clears throat> spoke and she read a couple poems that were very moving and said her few words on why we, are, we were gathered and what we are all about. And then... <clears throat> Following that, there was a few elders that spoke out. Um, one of them had personally lost um, a lot of her family members due, due to either addiction or being, you know, being first poisoned and pushed on with alcohol, but then later just called, ah, they're just alcoholics. But really, they're not only there are also human beings, you know? So <clears throat> when men get found frozen in the ditch or drink themselves to death and, and the government does nothing, that is very, very, very um, unethical, you know, I would say. Um, and um, so after a few elders spoke and shared a lot, you know, and and... And they assured us that they are still here. They're not going away. And um, they even spoke their own languages still, which was beautiful to hear. <coughs> we had um, then a beautiful drum circle of indigenous women 
uh, I believe they are part of the indigenous uh, woman sharing society and a big drum circle of them came together and they played songs like the woman's warrior song and and other songs it was beautiful and sang and then following by that uh, a young uh, native indigenous man from Comox uh, did a solo performance first he did a beautiful beautiful speech about what is really going on and what has been going on for centuries and um, where they are at now and um, he was very his words were very powerful, very potent, and very resonating, and and I love it that he ended with, we are one, and, and he spoke his own language, so he started off with his own language, and then followed by, by that, he played a couple songs, of which one was his own, by beating the drum and singing in his original um, native language from Comox, here and uh, one song was uh, <clears throat> Welcome to Commons, written by his uncle, and another one was written by him, which was a love song which he thought was appropriate because it was Valentine's, but also it was for all the missing and murdered women um, around the globe that um, this event and this gathering happened. Um, we've created a lot of great banners to uh, at the last couple NA meetings and um, other groups have done so too. So we had a lot of that up and um, <clears throat> the ladies were mic'd up and, and there were speakers. It was beautifully done. There was coffee provided and later there was some special sweet bread that was... Um, uh, fried bread that was offered deep fried bread and which was also very traditional uh, native indian bread that was very good and that's how we ended up by mingling a bit and and having that bread and that coffee and thanking each other for for being there that day i am very happy i was able to be there and um <clears throat> This was probably one of the my best Valentines so far for the reason because I didn't just spend it or with one woman or say it to one woman. I today stood for all the women and that was a beautiful Valentine's. It was a great experience and I'm looking forward to more. I am getting more uh, known amongst the um, Comas Na First Nations people, which is great. Um, I'm receiving more hugs and, and stuff, and um, more meetings are coming up. Next Wednesday, we keep going, Unbroken Chain. We are going to be unstoppable, and we are not going to give up. Once more, I will say, I will quote my friend, our ancestors are always with us. Never give up. One love. Happy Valentine's. My heart goes out to all the missing and murdered women around the world. May the power be with you. We are no longer silent and we are with you.